Welcome to the Self Love for Everyday Superheroes. I am your host, Self Love Queen Sacred Walker. So excited to be supporting you here at Self Love for Everyday Superheroes. We are committed to supporting you to deepen self love, reclaim authentic freedom in your life, achieve mental clarity and better health, and to manifest your vision of excellence so that you will not have the naysayers in the world or the inner critics in your own damn mind blocking your shine. And for this very special holiday edition, I am so excited to bring to you some amazing supports for you, for your family, for your community that will serve educational purposes. And if you're seeking deeper support and want one-on-one -on -one so that you can really take the steps to transform your self-love, self-care, and success strategies even deeper, hop on over to clearandconfidentmindset.com and we can go ahead and support you or get you matched with one of our therapists or coaches to take your care even deeper. And if you are someone who is so excited about building clarity, confidence, using the creative arts, as we lean in and close out, hop on over to lovemedicineuniversity.com. That's lovemedicineuniversity.com to register for our next up and coming retreat this holiday. So without further ado, I want to make sure that you've had an opportunity to subscribe below. Go and hop in and give five stars if you have not done so already, because this gem dropper today is going to be amazing. And if you stay until the very, very end, we're going to give you a very special treat. Today's show is literally delicious. We're going to be looking at how do we transform through healthy eating without expecting that we need to be perfect, without us having to get it all right or get it together. Whether we're feeding a family of one or a family of dozens, we want to make sure that we have a healthy mind, a healthy body, and a healthy spirit. And as someone who had the opportunity to both come from a long line of traditional healers coming out of the Caribbean, as well as the opportunity to study Ayurveda out of South India, I have come to appreciate the richness and fullness as a mind-body health expert and therapist and minister of the power of food. So today will literally be, del be delicious. And we have a very special guest joining us. Her name is Rowena. Now, Rowena is connected to Eat to Explore. Rowena comes to us with some amazing gifts. Before we even go into her background, she's amazing because she literally is an everyday superhero in her marriage. She took a lunch break one day, married her husband in City Hall, and 27 years ago had their first anniversary of their first date. So she is a about it, um, taking care of business, powerhouse of a woman while still being able to create time for love. And as someone committed to self-love, self-care, and everyday success strategies, we have to be about that. She comes in really wanting to educate people about the connection of food, cu culture, travel, or, and kids. And whether you are someone who has kids, has kids in your life, has grandchildren, godchildren, or just as a kid at heart, we can benefit from the importance of taking time to really learn how to really nourish our mind, our body, and in turn, our soul will be beneficial. Oftentimes, though, what we hear again and again is, I need to get it right. I need it to be perfect. I need to really look at how do I, maybe if I fail at something, then now I'm a failure. I didn't fulfill this, and that's a misconception. I didn't show up consistently with this habit, and now it's broken. What we're going to give you are some tools to really create success strategies so that you can thrive without feeling like you have to be perfect. And because of the five words that describe her that make her an everyday superhero and make her unstoppable are never stop learning and improving. I know that she's going to be the right person for the job today. So I want to make sure that we have a chance to tune in and tune up to the opportunity to connect in with Rowena. Now, she is born in Malaysia. She comes in originally out of finance. And what she saw coming out of with her family was that she actually saw that her family did not know how to cook. They did not know how to nourish their mind and their body through food. And so she ended up joining the French Culinary Institute and completed her executive MBA. And fast forward now has built this amazing platform for supporting others with connecting food and culture. 
So much to explore but um, bump with our amazing guest today. And you'll have an opportunity to learn how to connect with her at the show notes. I want to make sure there's so much beautiful sun shining in on my beautiful face as I live my truth. But I want to make sure that we have a chance to adjust. We are committed to helping 1 billion ambitious leaders to transform barriers to well-being without having, once again, the inner critic or the naysayers in the world holding them back. And I know when I learned to transform my relationship to food, where food could be healthy and tasty and culturally rich. So whether it's something that you're thinking about applying this to your romantic life, whether it can transform your friendships, your team relationships, your coworker relationships, right? Or your family, I'm so excited for this opportunity. And in order to join us on the Wellbeing Watch Party, hop on over, hop on over to selfloveforsuperheroes.com. Super important that you get a chance to do that. Selfloveforsuperheroes.com because we want to make sure that you can join the Wellbeing Watch Party. And if you are joining live right now, go ahead and ask questions to Rowena so that we can get a chance to really dig deep and see how we can connect with her. So. You landed here for a reason, on a reason, and I am just bringing in the sunshine today. I can't help myself. <laughs> but you are landed here for a reason, on purpose. And so we want to make sure that you can help you to unlock this next chapter, transforming your barriers to your well-being for this heart-centered pioneer, this executive who is joining us today, who is going to be able to share ways that we can transform our health and step powerfully into transforming our relationship to food and culture without perfectionism getting in the way. So we have Rowena here, and I'm going to do a double round of applause. Thank you again for joining us on the episode of Every Day for Superheroes with us, or Self Love for Everyday Superheroes. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me, Sacred. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us, you know, we want to dive right in. When is the first time that you fell in love with your relationship to food and transforming that relationship? You know, there's not like one poignant moment, but every, well, growing up in Malaysia, my mom would make us every Sunday, you know, cook together as a family. So it's like cleaning up the room in the morning and then we'll all sit down and my mom will be like, okay, you are dicing the onion, you're, you know, you're pounding the garlic. And so like, she'll assign us something and because of that it was such a natural skill for me and so growing up as a teenager I would come home from school and just make my favorite meal you know just for myself because I love it and I think that kind of grew over time so when I came to the states before I have children that passion kind of drive me to do it properly and get a culinary degree, which I did with the French culinary. And I thought to myself, what is the hardest cuisine to master? And I said, French. So let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, it grew over time, but I think it really has started when I was young. Beautiful. So you really dived right into looking at how do we tackle things? And isn't that what we're about here on the Everyday Superhero Show is that how do we face our fears and transform them? in the spirit of uplifting our mind, body, and spirit. So in that, in that vein, what would you say is something that you learned over the years about the impact of food and culture as we head into the holiday season? What is something that you feel like listeners who are tuning in attentively right now can take away from the importance of something that you've learned, a, a bit of wisdom? You know, what I've learned about the food, it, it's sort of like such a natural way to get people together, right? And everyone loves food and it's, you can participate or not, or even the smell of it, just bring back memories. And I, and I feel like as we come to the holiday season, it's more and more important to bring families together. I mean, in a way, that's what Thanksgiving is, right? Everyone cook, but if you get the family involved, not just one person cooking, but someone has each role, then it makes an event, an activity, and that connections come together when, when you're doing things together rather than just watching or absorbing. Absolutely. And how does Eat to Explore do that, bring families together? So when I started Eat to Explore, I look at my children and they were pretty young at that time. And now they are, they are young adults. 
um, they love to eat, they love to travel. But one thing that's missing was the, the life skill of cooking. We were in Thailand doing a cooking class and they, we were doing a cooking class and, and they were given an onion and they look at me and they're like, mom, what do you want me to do with this? And I was a little disappointed because I grew up cooking and I'm like, that should be a basic thing. And kind of that trip makes me realize I have more to give to this world. And my gift is I, I've lived abroad. I've, I'm, I've, I'm culinary trained. I, I feel food is a great way to connect and teaching kids a good skill, a life skill. They're eating healthier when they're eating whole food. That family connection is so important as we live in this technological world. So that was kind of why I started. Our mission is really teaching kids, not just to be culturally sensitive and be more aware of different world out there and what they do and what they eat, but also eating healthy. And I think most importantly, which is what differentiates us, it's a family event. It's uh, the mission is to get family to cook together. Why make it, you know, separate meal for the kids? The adults? Just make one meal that everyone can enjoy. And if kids are involved in doing it, they are more likely to try something different. So each expo, it's, it's makes it simple for families to ex try different cuisine because we give you the, the, all the material, all the recipes, all the essential spices and sauces that's hard to find. And then you just go to a grocery store and buy your basic ingredients and anything that you can find. And I always want to teach families that going to a grocery store is an art too. And it's a learning moment, right? You can say, give you $20. This is the shopping list. Go pick and try and find it in this aisle and learn how to pick fruit and feel the fruit. So I, I feel that's another teaching moment. So it to explore has a lot of educational material, not just the food, but give you, we give you tools. I work with educators where you can have YouTube videos and books and virtual museums to learn the history and geography and language of the country. So. Absolutely. So there's very much an interactive place. So interactive that my fur baby here, Eddie, wanted to jump right on over and join us, right? Because there are many, many layers of family. So, you know, as you share with us these tools, these tips around what kind of comes in with what specifically is Eat to Explore, is there a favorite recipe during the holidays that you would say really speaks to something that you would recommend that, oh my gosh, this is something that I need to dive into right away if I were to become a member? So, so Eat to Explore, for first and foremost, is country exploration. So it's like experience in a box to learn about countries. So right. what do you have for the holiday? So those are like, I would I'll call cooking kits, but the holiday, we also have this baking kit, which is kind of like a world treats baking kits, which is nice for the holiday because people love to bake. And each box, we have a world, a world baking kits for Europe. So you make three different country dessert, and then we have one for global. So, and then the, the, the Europe one is Austria, Croatia, uh, and Sweden, and then the global one is Japanese mochi, um, Croatia, um, Colombia, and Turkey. So it's again different ways to to experience the world. So you can cook a meal, but in a holiday, people love to bake, and this is an, an experience as well. You know, I love what you're sharing about being able to explore different foods of the world. That's one of the benefits of for those of us who are tuning in who are from areas like. New York or LA or Texas, right, or Miami that are in these international cuisine locations for those tuning in who are in parts of Eastern Europe that have like a mix or the UK, right, who are tuning in who really feel like I both have that international cuisine locally, but also really want to take time to travel. And yep. you can literally travel through your senses. So this yep. is what I am hearing to be able to bring children to that, to be able to travel through their, uh, through their senses. You know, growing up, I'm Caribbean. And one of the things that during the holidays we always had was cooking together. Yeah. You know, before you got presents, before you did anything else, there was always a strong foundation in taking time to cook. Yep. And so, you know, one of the misconceptions is oftentimes you can eat a meal, but you have a choice. It can either be good or good for you. And so I'm wondering, just in hearing that, for those who are tuning in who have maybe picky eaters, my niece is a very picky eater. She eats blueberries, mac and cheese, no seasoning. Like, just very clear. What would you say might be a misconception about food that you have heard families say, 
that you want to really break today that, you know, that you really feel like Eat to Explore helps to break? What is a misconception? So first of all, I have a couple of things to, to tell about that. So I've I've taught at a school in New York, uh, Lycée Francais, all the third grader a cultural and cooking class, mm -hmm. and I and I specifically make it vegetarian, so they they have to eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I have kids are like, "What is this? I've never seen this before." And then when they are involved in doing it, and the mm -hmm. effort, in, you know, that they have to cut and and smell, all of a sudden they'll try it. Mm -hmm. I saw parents with picky eaters. In fact, I wrote an article about it. Is baby steps, right? Because unless you have done it from day one, it's very hard mm -hmm. to all of a sudden, you know, 10 years old and then you're introducing different things and you want them to change right away. It doesn't happen overnight. Palette are expanded over time, especially like spiciness. So that's why our boxes, uh, it's spiced with flavor without the heat. And we try to reduce the heat. So like slowly introduce them. And if you want to add more heat, you could uh, as an option. But I think it's important for parents to realize it's baby steps, but you have to start somewhere. Otherwise, you're going to have a grown up adult child that only eat pasta and pizza and burger, right? The world's flavor is so big and so good for you that, it, that it's great to start when they're young. And by experiencing diff slowly and introducing them to what it is, it's it's fun. Like I have I have customers who's like, my kids have never touched zucchini, and now they're devouring that zucchini can canoe recipe that you have in your Lebanon box. Things like that just makes it fun. Rather than you know, some people say, oh, buried it in the food and just like blend it into like nothing, but that that kind of defeats the purpose. Like give them the real food, right? Let them learn that this tastes amazing if you can make it right. Absolutely. And what I love about what you're sharing is that you're talking about building legacy. You know, you're talking about how do we create patterns that get embedded from childhood into adulthood, right? From a psychological yep. perspective, that's human development. And one of the things we hear at Kumba Health see very often is that when we have patterns that are stuck for such a long time, all of a sudden you have an adult who, when they get highly stressed, their appetite shuts down. Or when they get highly stressed, they buzz through lunch. Right. Or when they get highly stressed, they might skip dinner. And so if you don't yeah. have these habits, it might feel like that transfers over into the family. When do I even have a moment to catch? And right. so what I really appreciate you sharing is that how do we transform that, right? How do we transform it? I know on our end, internally, we look at how do we give you tools so that you can build these habits? And what you're doing is how do we create these meal preps? How do we create these tools that you can have it and make it simple yep. and make it easy to apply? And I love that. I always say another baby step is you don't have to cook every day. Just mm -hmm. pick a once a week. That once a week moment that you can spend with your child and your children as a family, it's so, it creates lasting memories. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you expect to do this and you're rushing. And I know as a working parent, with younger kids, it's just hard to find the time. Mm -hmm. But if you said every Sunday lunch or Friday dinner or Saturday dinner, we are doing this as a family, kids love it. They love routine. They crave for routine. And this is one moment where you can connect with your child. And, and more and more, I'm seeing it even with my children is because I had that moment with them growing up as they were growing up. Now I have a, now I cook less with them, but they talk to us because we built that relationship already. And then whenever they have time or have issues, we're the first one to know and not them talking to their friends. So I think with mental health issues that we have with teenagers these days, I feel the more important, more, more important thing is the family connections on day one. Yes, absolutely. So what I am hearing you speak into, which are two gems that I want if you do not have your notebook because you are jogging right now, because you are out, you are driving, continue driving, continue doing your thing. But if you can jot these two things down, do catch the gems that are dripping right now from Marina. Number one, that intentional time. How do we create time to listen into each other, right? This is mindful eating in a way, right? Taking a moment to pause so that you can tune in and be able to hear, mom, I had a hard day or dad, I bullied today. Or mom, she have a crush on someone. This is my first crush, right? Over a meal, being able to break bread. So that intentional time, right? Creating that intentional time. So whether you have children or you're nurturing your inner child, 
having that one meal a day, gem number two, where you can build it out and you can actually have it for the week where you can be able to create that time. So how do we transform perfectionism? Perfect. You don't need to be perfect. Get yep. that one meal together. Exactly. Transform perfectionism into infinite potential. Yep. Do not allow, oh my gosh, I didn't do it every day to stop you. Become unstoppable. Yep. So what, is, what would you say you would like to leave our audience with? If you were to say, this is super important, you know, a takeaway that in listening to this today, I am someone who really wants to transform my relationship to food and culture. And I want to take something away. What, what would you leave our audience with today? I, I would leave, I think everybody needs to be, uh, most importantly, a little bit more aware about what's happening to the other world, right? We are now, we are truly a global citizen now with, with everything in our fingertips to figure out what's happening in the world. I think it's a great way to connect, to understand different country, be sensitive to about their culture. And then the other thing is your connection with food, like understanding what you put in your body. So physically and mentally, it's, it's very important. And, and each explorer's mission is to create that opportunity to create both mentally and physical health in addition to connection and, and global education. So, and I always say going time back to your original, your title about nothing has to be perfect. I remember telling my kids as they were very young, trying to chop all the vegetables. I'm like, you know what? Make the best you can. It doesn't have to be evenly sized. It can be a little random, but then when you cook together, the meal will taste amazing regardless. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but the steps should start with them wanting to do it and then making it, doing it together. Beautiful, beautiful. And I just want to take what you just said and shout it from the rooftops that it doesn't have to be perfect for the way that things are cut. Kind of like human beings, right? We yes. all come with our own cookie cutter, yes. our own gifts. But when we yes. come together, we can create a really powerful stew when we, you know, lift each other up. And so food can be so symbolic of that. So I just want to celebrate what I'm hearing you share today about the power of using healthy food and healthy food meal prep to be able to transform families, transform communities, transform our mind, body, and spirit without perfectionism getting in the way, right? And if you are tuning in right now and have not clicked on the link below already to connect with Rowena, you are missing out. So go ahead and click right now, connect via the different social media platforms. And if you have stayed until the end because you are an extra ordinary, amazing, A-plus everyday superhero, there is a special gift that is going to be available to you that will pop up right now as we come to our time because I want to make sure that you have an opportunity to be able to receive support, connection from Rowena directly, that you will get 15% off at eat to explore and you'll be able to use the discount code EE15 to be able to apply that there. We here at the Self Love for Everyday Superhero Show are committed to self love, self care, and success strategies for executives, creative visionaries, and your everyday superheroes who make big impacts. And we want to make sure that you can continue to thrive to make that happen. It's such an honor to have you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So just to close out, we want to make sure that we wish everyone amazing, amazing day. Continue to show up for yourself as love and remember to live your truth because you're worth it. Have a beautiful day, y'all. Subscribe below. See you soon.